Hello everybody, it's Rockford, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Alright, looks like we had some mail first thing. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the Forest Lake in the Stone Tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius Wizard. Alright, so I suppose that's the wizard tower that we saw earlier. I think we will head that way. The slife does not lower our energy. 264. And still there. So, alright, that, that's something we'll keep handy. That way we can cut through our, our path a little bit quicker without having to worry about getting too much energy up. So we can find our way down this way. Stubborn rock there. Fiber might be something we can get plenty of without having to worry about. It costs me too much energy. We're gonna get energy at all, rather. It'd be nice to find a use for the fiber as well. Maybe something we can make a little bit of money on. Which is good. Any free seeds is nice. There's some large rocks here. We get that big, better uh, copper pickaxe. We'll be able to take care of that. Meet the wizard. You received a letter from the local wizard. He claims to have information regarding the old community center and the wizard's tower. That'll be a nice easy quest. And delivery. I'm gonna run a cleanse real quick and deliver that coal that he was wanting. Looks like there's some berries here. berry with the flavor of forest. Plus 25 energy, plus 10 health. And it looks like it might be possibly sun, or no, it's still it's break. That's just sun. There's some more of these berries. That'll be handy. Turn over to the blacksmith. Lucis house, the mayor house. And this this library. Let's see if we can donate anything. Alright, it doesn't seem like we have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? These things keep wiggling. I'm guessing it's just flowers. Alright, that was the museum back there. Need to find the blacksmith. Alright, straight down to the south. I'm assuming that's a plant inside. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. And yep, you are Clint. Oh, so you saw the notice I posted. Thanks so much. 
Here's your payment, as promised. 75 gold. And it says he'll be pleased. So far, our only reputation it appears to be with... Right, and that looks like the wizard there. And we're going to have to meet whoever this person is. I thought that was Sebastian, but... Yeah, that is Sebastian, but I only met him at the Egg Festival, which I guess that wasn't an actual meeting. So we'll have to go to his house and try to meet him there. One thing I was thinking on as well is that we had a lot of, of wood, so we had that bridge that we tried to cross originally, and it shouldn't be too much of a problem to do that. I have a clam here. Someone lived here once. We've met them before. And we have a mussel. Oyster, rather. And here's that bridge. Do some of this stuff down. Let's see how much I took. 300 pieces of wood. That shouldn't be too much of an issue as well. I'd like to be able to get that and see possibly what's over there. Looks like there's. Hmm. Okay. Looks like some coral and whatnot. It'd be nice if we could sell some of that stuff as well. Alright, since we've already taken care of the problem with Clint, his request, we'll head back to the north. Then look to the west, back towards the Wizard's Tower and see if he's able to help us with the community center. Excuse me. I think she heard me going through our trash. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Alright? I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. True warrant work. That's good enough. And I believe we just have one more person to meet now. Hopefully the wizard is the last one we do need. We just got some berries, but I'm not sure where they went. Uh-oh. Ooh, it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum, why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this one just has to be a match for a big rusty old key. Pretty good logic. Better run, kids. There's something moving around in there. I'm not in the Adventurer's Guild yet, so I'm not sure if I'm the best person for this job. It scared me too. And... We're off to see the wizard. Should be this way. Yep. Close by. Some more salmon berries. Go way around here. Be nice to stock up on all these berries. Good food source for us, so we don't have to waste anything that's more valuable. I'm assuming these don't sell for much. They're so easily found. 
Samurai and the Wizard's Tower. Ah, oh, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truce, mediator between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred cha. You get the point. And you, Rockrun, the one whose arrival I've long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. One of those slime things. I think it's a slime. It looks like it has our arms and legs, though, so it might not be. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm gonna go see for myself. I'll return shortly. Take a look around. Oh, maybe not. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Force. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Aha! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Turning green. That's not good. Not good at all. Gain the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Now let's see about the introductions. 27 of 28 skill. Let's see if I can say hi to him. I have seen many things about your future young robbery. I want to tell you there could be grave consequences. Still no. Alright. Sebastian, I believe, is going to be the last remaining person. Okay. It's 5 10 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and turn auto run on. I'm 
might head down to the saloon real quick and see who all is coming here. It might be a little bit more active at night. I'm not sure if there's a penalty or not if we stay out all night. But it might be an option. The saloon is north of here. That's the mayor's house. The saloon should be close by. Here we are. Broken CD. Come in, come in. Beer, salad, bread, spaghetti. Coffee. It smells delicious. This is sure to give you a boost. Plus three energy, plus one health, plus one speed. Pretty, pretty handy. That's pretty darn expensive. Hash browns recipe? A recipe to make hash browns. Plus 90, 90 energy, plus 36 health, plus one farming. Omelet recipe, a recipe to make an omelet, plus 100 energy, plus 40, these are all pretty expensive. Also, we don't have any real produces or anything, anything that's real steady or in abundance yet, so we'll hold off on that. 720, still, I'm still going on. Sneak back here. I'm wondering if people will come in or if I just leave and then come back. Oh no. Doesn't buy any of that. I just want to take a little bit of use to have auto run on. Hey Clint, my father was also a blacksmith. I bet you can't guess what my great grandfather was. A sarcastic jerk, a silly clown, a blacksmith. Let's go with the obvious. How do you know? There's, I'm, I'm psychic, there, Clint. I hope you don't know how to join you for a moment. And it looks like people do come in on their own. We'll stay here till last call, then we'll take off. Let's see if there's anyone outside. Doesn't look like it. Back inside. Still no one else. spring music. Curious about these other people. What's gonna happen with them? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? What a jerk. Next, spaghetti. Everything's so expensive. Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. All right, and now that's getting really late. We're definitely going to take off.
throw my sword just in case. Definitely getting hard to see. Or might be close by. Okay. Or shot it. Head back this way. Got some berries. Uh oh. Definitely getting. And I believe we're home. There's our square crew. So let's go ahead and go inside and go straight to bed. Go to sleep for the night. And we'll start all over. It's Tuesday. On TV, really? Or not least. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? from Pierre himself. And... Let's take a look around our farm here. We haven't, we haven't been around too much lately. Kind of ridicule me. I'm just minding my own business. This is a great gift. Thank you. You've already given lots of gifts today. I'm sure, you can appreciate that. And we have plenty to go around. Hopefully, he starts trusting us a little bit more.
the floor. Oh. We need to kill those slimes. We need to kill ten of those. So they'll let us into the Ventures Guild. Maybe give us some better weapons. Make the whole process a little bit easier. What I'm trying to do with these slimes. I'm being a little bit aggressive and taking some damage. I'm trying to pin it against a wall. But the issue I'm having. Stop rushing them. Right, and figure out a way to this. I think that was pretty handy. I think there's another slime. We're gonna go straight for him. Two slimes. Spin right here and let him come at us. Did that hurt? Those are definitely plentiful. Right, here we go. I forgot we had the torches. We had to start using some of these. Probably more necessary in the dark areas. some ore while we're, up, we're out here. Work on making our upgrades for our pickaxe. See another slime over there. I loop around and take it. I need to check and see if there's any skills you can get in combat. Combat? Yes, there is. We might be able to level up that today. Another quartz. Another slime. And we're moving on. Oh, I'm slimed. That's not good. That's not good. Minus four speed. And somehow I knew exactly what that debuff was called. I have a gold leak here. That's pretty nice. Probably save that in case we want to do some fancy cooking. Go and eat this. Slime. And we should be getting to another elevator shaft here, assuming they're on every five levels. And I'd like to be able to get that progress so we can leave off there. Come back. Alright, level seven. Still gonna be quite a ways away. Open this up and kill the slime. Effective. 
And I don't see why the pickaxe does not work on these guys here. It seems like it wouldn't hurt. Alright, and I'm happy weapons don't have any conditions in this game as well. Otherwise, I'd probably be broke by now. Plenty of torches. Looks like someone's mining down here. The rocks, more ore. And it's 520. We're getting close to needing to head back. We can go down a little further beforehand. Algae and some slime. I fear we're running out of daylight. On the ladder. Hopefully the there it is. And we have one more floor to go to. Only a little bit of time left. Kelly slimes. Finish that quest up if we can. Right, there's a bunch of slimes. It's definitely getting a little bit more dangerous as we descend further and further down. Alright, finish that quest. Initiation. Alright. Earth crystal. And let's see if there's any other ores real quick, and we'll see if we can go down one more floor. Let's eat the sound berry and a little bit more HP back. Let's go ahead and eat them. The slimes hurt quite a bit. And we're going to top it off. Quartz. Alright, I'm going to have another hidden one, it looks like. It's kind of a pain. Considering that we wanted to go down before. Very close to what I assume is the next elevator shaft. The next checkpoint for the mines. At least there's not too much left. A geode. Nice. Mystery rock, pretty much. There it is. Head on down. Got some leather boots. Very cool. Alright. Corey. Here we go. But where? The leather is very supple. Plus one defense, plus one immunity. Very cool. And here is our elevator shaft. Alright, and we have that set now. We'll go ahead and take a peek down here real quick. These slimes could definitely hurt if they can gang up on you. If you get slimed once, it's hard to defend. Looks like they can jump over rocks. Alright, we need to head out of here. Oh! I don't know what that is. It's angry. Whatever it is. Should have left when I said. That's an angry slime there. You can tell by the eyes. Alright. 
looks like there's a ladder there to descend, and there's also a ladder there, so that'll be kind of interesting. But I feel like we've made a lot of progress today. Incoming. Damn, that thing's aggressive. Got a little beat up that time. Leave the mine. And we're heading home. Now we're a little bit further away from home than I would have liked to be. But I think I can make it there pretty quickly. It'd be nice if we could stay at the saloon for a night. Scene. Hey, it looks like we have more in common than I thought. Er, sounds like those raccoons are back being filthy varmints. I guess he's pretty needy, so we're gonna help him out. Ah, oh, you turned up at the right moment, son. Can you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been uh, causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Yes, it's illegal. That's George's private property. No, but you should get a job and stop leeching off of others. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Rockrun. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go on home. I promise I won't run into George's can anymore. You can tell me if you you can tell me you skirt off the raccoons for good. And he's going right to the saloon. Trash can. Well, I meant what I said. Wait. I know what you're doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pel Pelican Town going hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. There's some pretty nice people in this town. And we need to run home. It's getting late. Playground, and we're a little off our mark, so we'll head southwest. And it should be just past the bus stop, and we'll be there. Man, it's getting real late. I would go after those salmon berries there, but I don't think we have enough time. Turn inside, go to sleep. Alright, we're going to end the program there. If you enjoyed yourself, uh, please like and subscribe. We just leveled up, level 1 combat, which I was thinking that was going to happen soon, plus, one, plus 5 HP, and we can now make a sturdy ring. But if you enjoyed yourself, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.